Okay, so uh, what is total fertility rate? It's the number of children, uh, average number of children you can expect a woman to have uh, if, you know, throughout their reproductive years, assuming they make it. Um, so uh, this has been going down in pretty much all societies. It's gone down really uh, dramatically in the most advanced societies. And we can see that obviously in a country like the United States, and you can see it in countries like South Korea and China as they become uh, much more advanced economically and educationally. This is just almost a iron law of demographics at this point. So is that good or bad? Well, um, you could argue it's good if you were worried about overpopulation, but maybe we shouldn't be so worried about that now. Now there's a um, emerging worry about underpopulation, about underfertility that to some extent the dynamism of a society and its potential for economic growth can be undercut by having too low a fertility rate and not having enough relatively young people in the workforce, um, you know, that therefore have to support a you know, declining relative number of, of young workers have to support a relatively large growing population of old people. And that doesn't sound like it'll turn out well. So I think that is a real worry now that uh, we're undercutting, uh, advanced societies undercutting the potential for economic growth uh, by actually uh, not having too much fertility, but rather too little. 